I got into fan fiction when uh, some girlfriends and I started reading Twilight. I just, I liked the characters so much that I kind of, I felt, but I felt some things were missing from the story. We just wanted to get a little bit more, so we started going into the online community, and I discovered that other people felt the same way, and they'd started writing their own stories about Edward and Bella and all the vampires. I mean, when you take a character that's already established, and you, 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 you sort of become God a little bit, and you can you know, maneuver and make these worlds and put this character that you love in this world and get him or her to do whatever you want. Fan fiction is when somebody tells you a story and you tell your story to go with it. Whatever you can come up with, there is fan fiction of it. There's erotic fiction about the Care Bears. There's a famously hilarious story that somebody wrote as a parody one year um, which is all about, you know, the Care Bears having sex. <laughs> what do you see? Right now, a lot of people are having fun writing across various versions of Sherlock Holmes. Naomi wrote a fantastic Irene Adler story, for instance. And you really want a, a woman to write Irene Adler. And is not Holmes' girlfriend, uh, and is not uh, a villain, and she's not Catwoman. And so Naomi's story, she's wonderful, and she's smart, and she's happy, and she's in Paris. <laughs> be a very interesting thing. Um, I like the idea that it's allowing authors of fan fiction to make some money, but I also think it could be a little bit exploitative of the writers themselves. For instance, for 99 cents for a story, you will get 35%. So, you know, let's say you get 35 cents a story. That's... And then what happens is, in exchange for that, you are trading away all your rights the other danger is that I suspect that this is going to attract a lot of younger fans who kind of don't know better. Somebody who doesn't understand what they're being, what they're giving away. Somebody who doesn't realize that, you know, if their story is good enough to sell in any large quantity, then almost certainly that story is good enough for them to turn it into an original story and sell it on their own. So this is a piece of fan art that somebody made for my books. I write fan fiction for other works, and now people write fan fiction and make fan art for my own professional book series, the Temeraire series. I think this is something that people um, don't get about fandom, especially now that it seems an internet phenomenon. Um, I think people sort of think that fans are sort of very isolated and that they're having relationships with consumer products. That's not true. They're having relationships with other people. There are fans now I've known for 20 years. Um, I've seen them through the birth and raising of their kids. It, it, it's not something that just stays in a little consumer box. Thank you.